Hello friends, this video on relation and functions part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. In the first category, now let's understand the second category of relations. The first comes is the reflection relation. By the name itself, the reflection is nothing but mirror. Reflection is the word derived from mirror. So when I say reflexive relation, I mean the same guy is compared with the same. So if I see I stand here, what I get is me and you. If I write one here, what I'll get is one. If I write, if I create a let's suppose apple, love or apple, apple, let's suppose I create an apple here, I'll get the same apple here. This is mirror action. So reflection is nothing but reflection relation is nothing but where a comma a is two for every a b. That is the relation should be true with the same object. I'll give you an example. Just understand. For example, we have a we have some boys in the class, and you say height of boys are height of a is equal to height of such kind of relation is called for example i have this boy i want to compare the height of this guy with this guy only then i will say yes true height of this guy is equal to height of this guy correct so this is example of reflexive relation because here we are using equal to relation equal to is always reflexive because i am saying height of a is equal to height of a this guy that was name is a height of a is equal to height of a this is an example of a reflexive relation i'll give you one example of non reflexive relation and i say height of a is greater than height of a so if you see what i told relation is nothing but nothing but what connection or pattern correct so in first case the relation was height of a is equal to height of a so in that case reflexive relation holds true because height of boy a is equal to height of boy a when talking about non reflexive relation same thing here i am saying height of a is greater than height of a is it possible no this is apple to apple comparison height of a cannot be equal to height of a Sorry, height of a cannot be greater than height of a. Or let me use a name Tom here. Height of Tom cannot be greater than height of Tom. Height of Tom has to be equal to height of Tom. So if I if I'm using a relationship that is a greater than relationship, that relationship is not a reflexive relation. But I'm if you're using an equal to relationship, this guy will be a reflexive relationship. Even if I'm using less than relationship, this guy is also non-reflexive because I would say height of Tom is less than height of Tom that is also not possible or if I say not equal to height of Tom not equal to height of Tom this guy is also not reflexive correct but reflexive is generally is equal to relationship or reflection that is in the terms of a real life example height of Tom is equal to height of Tom correct reflexive relation Similarly, cost of pen A is equal to cost of pen A, reflexive relation. The moment you say cost of pen A is greater than cost of pen A, not reflexive, not possible because pen is same. In mathematical term, I can say there are two parallel lines, they are reflexive because if we say line uh, P is parallel to line Q, it is reflexive. Sorry, line P is parallel to line P. If you take the same line P, P is parallel to P, it is reflexive. But perpendicular relation is not reflexive. You, can, you can't say line P is perpendicular to line P. Because as a single line, P is parallel to P. If you take one more P, both are parallel. It can't be perpendicular. So a parallel relation is also one example of mathematical reflexive relation, where perpendicular is example of one non-reflexive relation. Having understood reflexive relation, thank you. Visit examfear.com to Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more.
Thanks once again.